holidays. This is a very difficult time for families. The empty space left by someone who has died may feel bigger and deeper. Common greetings such as happy holidays can feel almost cruel. Many families find the first year or two after the death to be particularly difficult. It's not uncommon for adults to wonder if they'll ever enjoy this time of year again. Some discover that their fearful anticipation of the holiday is worse than actually the holiday. Others try to just get through it all and survive. Some unexpected comfort, connection, and even the meaning and traditions in there is feel the feelings. Children grieve differently than adults, although I see a lot of similarities just even through my own personal grieving. But this is also true during the holidays. Many parents are surprised by their children's ability to find joy and excitement in the season, even when a death is recent. Let your child know that it's okay to enjoy the holidays and have a good time while they are grieving. While grief may surface from time to time during the holidays, the excitement often serves as a welcome break for children who are grieving. Some children find the time after the holidays to be the hardest as the difficult thoughts that were pushed aside during the celebration crowd. There's all of the, the lights and excitement and all the people around, it's usually after. When these intense holidays fall during the cold and dark months of the year, grief can actually be intensified for children and adults mourning a loss. Encourage your, ch your children to express whatever they're feeling when these emotions arise. Listen to them and don't try to distract them from what they're feeling. If you're finding this time of year particularly difficult, let them know. Yeah, you wanna reassure them you're happy they're experiencing the joy of this season. And if you're allowing people to come into your home, let your visitors know all feel feelings are welcome in your home. So it might bliss, it, it might be tears, it might be anger, it might be laughter, all the things that come up. Um, it might not be your traditional, usual holiday experiences, but um, just knowing and sharing that it's okay, come as you are. Holiday traditions. When a death is recent, many adults wonder if they should continue with the holiday traditions, change them entirely or take a break from them for a year. It may help to remember there's no right or wrong way to spend the holidays. Ask your child how they would like to spend this time. Are there traditions they would like to keep? Or should new ones be created to fit the change in your life? Do what's right for you and your family. Don't feel the need to force anything. Again, ask your child, talk to them and see what they need and how they want to spend it. They might say, holiday is off. They might say, yes, I'm excited. I want all the holiday and everything that goes along with it. It's okay to say no, this is a big one. Saying no to others is saying yes to yourself. These are often of many events and invitations. Include your children in deciding which events to attend. Don't hesitate to decline invitations with, we're just not up for it this year. People will understand. And it's okay even if it's closer to that time. You know, there might be that guilt of, I committed to saying yes, and the day of the event comes up and you're just not feeling up for it, 
pushing yourself or your child might not be the answer. So it's important to talk about it. Again, open communication. Traditions of remembering. Creating traditions to remember the person who died helps families with their grief. Choose some holiday activities that help your children express their grief and connect to the person who died in creative ways. These will be different for each family. Maybe making ornaments or decorations with photos of the person, putting together a memory book, or creating a recipe book of the person's favorite meals, participating in activities they enjoyed such as walks in nature or playing a specific board game. And then maybe even buying a gift you know they would have liked the person who passed and, and donate it. In many traditions, the holidays are also a time of quiet contemplation and remembering. Invite children to share holiday memories of the person, even if this brings up feelings of sadness and longing. Honoring the person who has died. There are many ways to maintain bonds to the person who has died and keep their memory alive for your children. Write down the traditions they enjoyed. In this way, they're captured and can be continued by future generations. Making gingerbread houses, decorating the house in a particular way, playing certain music, even lighting a candle in their honor. Set a place for them at the holiday table, make their favorite holiday foods, share stories about them, Make a donation or volunteer to an organization or cause that was significant to them. Or even make a toast to them at a meal or an event. So finding your way to honor them. I love this. Mm. It's a lot. Yeah. Some really good good ideas here. Thank you. Oh, Thank I'm just you. like <laughs> soaking it all in even for myself here and feeling so happy for all the people that are gonna get to watch this and, and feel this inspiration too. Yeah, I hope this helps and it's in you know one area where they're able to re-watch this and um, because as we have these grieving emotions again we can become very forgetful. Mm -hmm. And um, as we have all these ideas that we can do, you can at least refer back of, oh, that's right, maybe making their holiday meal, um, you know, so-and-so loved eggplant parm, right? Um, let's do eggplant parm, whatever it is. Uh, I think it's it's great to go a little outside the box in a way that works for each family.